Hey guys, what's going on? My name's Waz, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build a 1200 megawatt coal power plant in Satisfactory. Now to build this thing, you will need to be near a water source, and you will need 240 coal coming in. So yeah, without any further ado, let's get straight into it. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is get out your concrete foundations just like this and you want to build a line out into the middle of the water. So uh, just go ahead and build one like this. Uh, let me set this to the right mode here. You want to build out a line into the middle of the water just like that. And then once you have this, you can go ahead and remove this part of the line so that you have just a couple foundations out here in the middle of the water just like this. Then you can go ahead and extend this by a couple on each side, it doesn't really matter, uh, so that it's about this long. And then you're going to get out a water extractor, uh, let's get out that again, there we go. Get out a water extractor, leave about that much space, and then you just want to place three of them next to each other, just like that. So now, once you have those three placed, you want to place three more on the other side as well. Make sure you leave about the same amount of space, there we go one two three just like that and i think that looks good yep that looks good so now what you want to do is extend these um extend the end of this so that it gets it goes past the water extractors so you don't want it to like touch at all you want it to just go like one pass so that if i were to do this it doesn't touch it at all so you want to do that for both sides uh just extend it about that much then go ahead on the ends of these you want to go out one two three four foundations just like that and then do that on all four corners so one two three four and then do it on this side as well just like this one two three four and then one two three four just like that all right now that you have that done what you want to do is on all of these on the ends of these you want to go up six of these big foundations. Oh, not six. I mean five. Sorry. Five of these big foundations. Just like this. One, two. Oops. Vertical. One, two, three, four, five. Just like that. And then go ahead and do that on all four corners. After that, place foundations down here on this side. Just like this. And then do it on the opposite side also. So place them just like this. And then all the way over there. Then, once you do that, connect the tops of these pillars with foundations, just like this, on every side, so that you have a giant rectangle made out of foundations like this. And then, once you have this, fill in the center of the rectangle. Now that we have this done, we are going to start placing our coal generators. So basically, how we do this is you want to first find the center line, which would be this line right here. And just to like, visualize it better, I'm going to color this block right here, uh, this foundation this foundation right here orange so uh basically what you want to do is get out your coal generator and just kind of place it with the inputs on this side just like this so you want to line this up on the very edge with the middle of that orange block just like this and then you want to move over this way one just like that and then move this way four so one two three four so the corner should be right there just on the edge like that then I'm going to come over to the other side for this. Now we're going to do the other one. So you want to kind of do the same thing. You want to line this up with the middle and then just go out uh, just one, just like that. So that there should be this little gap in between them. And if you did it right, it just sh it should look like this. The very center should be just like this right here. So let's just go ahead and replace this foundation. So now what you want to do is you want to place seven more of these coal generators on each side. So I'll just do this side real quick. You're just going to place coal generators all the way down like this. And it should end up looking like this. So yeah, uh, just repeat that on the other side. All right, so once you've finished placing all of your coal generators, now we're going to place the splitters. So how we're going to do this is first get out your splitter and make sure the input is on this side right here, uh, just facing like the front I guess you could say I don't know and then you just want to go ahead and you see this like center of this block right here this is where you want to put them all so just place one like that so it lines up with this input and it's on this like center line right here and then uh, go ahead go up two actually so that this uh, we've got a stack of three splitters just like this then you want to delete these bottom two splitters and then there you go that splitter is now finished this is the input right here and the rest are outputs 
And you want to just continue placing splitters like this um, with the input on this side right here. And you want to place them in front of every single coal generator except this last one right here because you don't need a splitter there. And then repeat the same thing on the other side. So yeah, I'll be right back as soon as I've done that. Alright guys, as you can see, I have added splitters to every single coal generator except these two because they don't need them. And I'll show you why right now actually because we will be doing the conveyor lifts now. So you want to be using Mark II or higher, it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to be using Mark II because that is all you need. So uh, for this last one that doesn't have a splitter, what you're going to do is you're just going to go ahead and place a lift and connect it directly to this splitter, just like that. And basically what you're going to do is you're just going to kind of do this for every single... Uh, you're just going to do all the belt work basically, so uh, connect all of the lifts like this. And then connect all the belts together, just like that. And you basically want to repeat this entire thing for every single coal generator on both sides. Okay, now that we have all of the belts done, what we're going to do is we want to come over here and get out your conveyor lift floor hole right here. And uh, this is going to be the side where the coal is coming in, so just keep that in mind. You want to place these right here on these like lines right here um, by this gap, just kind of like this. Then once you do that, you're going to bring down a, uh, you're just going to leave those there actually. You're going to come down here and you're going to place a conveyor wall hole, or a conveyor wall I guess it's called. So you're going to place one of those right there, just like that. Then you're going to place a splitter, uh, just like this, so it's like kind of clipping, but it doesn't really look, it doesn't look bad at all, so it looks fine. <clears throat> just like that. So then once you have this, you're going to go ahead and get out your conveyor lift mark too. And just bring this up into these conveyor floor hole things, just like this. Just go ahead and bring both of these up from the splitter here so that it looks nice. And then uh, you're going to go ahead and bring this up like this. Uh, I think you're going to go up, just go up like, hang on, let, let, me, let, me, let me see, let me, let me count. I haven't really counted this. One, two, three, four, I believe. Just like that, then turn it that way. And then this one, you're going to do the same thing. One, two two three four except it'll be going the opposite direction of course then you're gonna bring your belts over here and just kind of do a 90 degree turn like this and then bring it up so that it is the same level as the splitter then just connect up the splitters like that uh, if you want you could remove this pole I think you probably should I'm pretty sure uh, that will actually get in the way later so you might want to remove that then basically repeat the same thing on the other side just like this and that looks good. So now we have all of the belts set up and now all you need to do is connect your coal. So that is actually what I'm going to do right now. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and connect up our coal and uh, if I were you, I would do this right now also so that it has time to enter all of these coal generators. So uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and build a little platform. I didn't really have this prepared before, so uh, let's just go ahead and build a little bit of a bridge, I guess. Uh, it's, it's just kind of a temporary solution, but uh, just to get the coal over there uh, Just do that. There we go So now the coal is on its way and I forgot to mention you're gonna want to use you're gonna want of course mark three belts for this So let's just use mark three belts uh, Let's convert all of this to mark three belts now if you want you can change the design up a little bit and have two mark twos coming in and just completely avoid the splitter if you want but, uh, yeah, so that looks good. Uh, yeah, that, that's good. That's good. So now that we have this, it should start entering the system just like that. And it will all start working. So, yeah, now we have to do the pipes. All right, guys. So for the piping, what you want to do is come over to this side of the structure. This is the side without the conveyor lifts. And uh, come over to these two water extractors. Get out a pipeline mark one. Alright, so while editing this video, I realized that in the recording I used Mark 1 pipes, which will actually not work at all. Make sure that you use Mark 2 pipes while building this thing, and yeah, that's really all I have to say, so resume the video. And what you want to do is do a little bit of a 90 degree turn, just like this, and then repeat the exact same thing with the other one, and make sure they're symmetrical, just like that. And then what you want to do is bring this pipe all the way down to this spot right about here. Uh, let me make sure that this is actually accurate. There we go. Just like that So then you want to do the same thing for this other pipe as well So let's just make sure that we got this lined up. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna pause the video for a second here uh, I actually forgot to mention that you need to put pipeline junction crosses 
on these pipes to actually connect up these water extractors just like this so make sure that you actually do this before continuing i'll realize it later on in the video so um just make sure to connect them up just like this and yeah that's really all i have to say so let's just resume the video just like that so now what we want to do is do another 90 degree turn now it is going to kind of clip through the uh splitters hitbox but it's not actually going to touch the splitter so it should be fine so we're going to do this uh, with this other one as well. So let's just go ahead and do this. It's a little weird to get this to work. But there we go. Once you have that, uh, you're going to go ahead and get out a pipeline floor hole. And you want to place this just here right up next to this wall thing. Just like that. And then you want to do it on this other side as well. Same exact thing. Place it right there. And then you want to get out your pipeline mark one again. And you want to set your build mode to horizontal to vertical. You can do that by pressing R on your keyboard. And you want to click this top one first that's important make sure you click that one first and then just connect it to this and you should get this nice 90 degree angle just like that so do the same thing on the other side just like that and there we go and then you can set your pipeline mode back to auto before i forget and then once you have that we're going to place our pipeline pumps so you just want to place them like right about here and then hold control to get them like lined up with each other and that's basically it for the pumps so now we're gonna do the rest on the uh, upper floor here so to do that we're gonna get out our pipeline junction cross and we're gonna come over to this side first and we're just gonna kind of hover it hover over this exact spot right here then we're gonna move out one two three four five six just like that then place it right there and then get out your pipeline mark one again and connect it up now, I don't know any better way to do this. It's a little bit weird looking, but since it's going to look the exact same on the other side, it's not that bad. It just There's no way to fix this, and it's just really annoying and weird. But uh, we'll just ignore it for now. So basically, what you want to do is just continue to like do this on the entire side. Uh, just connect up all of the coal generators basically like this, and just repeat that for the entire side. Now, there is one more thing I want to show you on this side because it's a little different. So for this side, you want to start off by doing the same thing. Just kind of hover the uh, thing over here just like this. Then go one, two, three, four, five, six, just like that. And then for this side, what you want to do, get out your pipeline. And you want to just do like a 90 degree turn just like this. And then go into this junction. And then you can just continue building this. So now what you want to do is just continue building this on both sides and then that will actually be it for the piping and after that we'll move on to power okay so now that we are done with the piping we are going to move on to the power lines so for power lines you can really do it however you want as long as you get everything connected but i will show you how i like to do it so i like to get out uh, i like to use power pull mark twos so let me just bind this to my hot bar real quick there we go i like to use power pull mark twos for this so i just place one right there like that and then i place one directly above it right like that then I connect these two uh, just through the floor. It looks a little weird, but that's about as good as it's going to get, I'm, I'm pretty sure. So then uh, for the bottom floor, I like to connect these two pumps and these two uh, generators here to this one. And then uh, I will put another power pull right about here. And this is where I will connect the remaining four power generators, just like this here. Just like that. So now that I have everything down here connected, I do the upper floor. So for this, uh, let me, for some reason, there we go. It's being a little weird. So you just want to connect all of the coal generators up. Uh, this one is a little weird because the hitboxes can be kind of weird in this area, but we'll try to get it. So I just like to connect them here. And then I run the power lines through this little gap in the middle. That's why I had you make that little gap. So I think I'll, actually I'll place another one over here just like that. And then do this. Now this one's going to be pretty weird to get at. So I think I forgot one actually over here. That's why it's a little weird. So there we go. And then we're going to do this one. So just go ahead and connect up this stuff. Just like this. It doesn't exactly really matter because no one's going to really see this part. Uh, and yep, there we go. I'll connect the last few to another power line. Let me make sure I got all these. Yep, looks good, looks good. Okay, so I'll connect all these up. And then this one, this one, this one, and this one. So let me just run my power line over these, make sure I didn't miss any. Yep, that looks good. Just double check, there we go. Okay, so uh, now we have everything done. 
And what I actually like to do to make this just look more complete is I like to add these uh, windows. Where are they at? The full frame windows. Uh, I just like to add these to like fill in all of these like gaps here just to make it look nicer. But before I do that, uh, to actually get the to actually like connect this to the rest of my power grid or whatever, uh, I like to go ahead and add a wall outlet, a double wall outlet actually. So I add one of these right there, and then I just connect this power pole to it. So just do that, and then I'll run a power line all the way over here to my biomass burner, and we will have to have somewhat of a power grid to jumpstart it, of course. So let's just go ahead and jumpstart the system by turning on all these water extractors. And that should lead to all of these generators turning on. Now, you might have to, uh, what you might have to do uh, once these turn on is you might have to turn all of them off using this little button here and then wait for them to all fill up with water and then turn them back on. Uh, you might have to do that because it just they're just a little weird sometimes. So uh, just make sure you might need more pumps now that I think about it, but I think this should be good. Let me just make sure we got water and everything working. So it should all start working. There we go. Wait for this water to actually get up here. Uh, you might actually need another pump. I don't really remember how many pumps I put on it the first time I built this. So you might need another one. Let me see. Let me just take a look here. Uh, let's see. It appears to be working. Let's see. Yep, there we go. Okay, the pumps do in fact work. I was a little worried there. So yeah, everything works. We've got the coal plants starting to turn on. So what I am going to do is I'm going to turn every single one of these off, and then I'll turn them back on once they're all full of water. So I'll be right back as soon as I've done that. All right, so I have let all of the coal generators fill up on water, and then I turned them all back on, and I also added windows to this whole thing. And that is actually it. It is fully completed. It is fully operational now. And um, as you can see, well, actually, you know what? Ignore this number. Let me just delete this thing over here. Uh, it, it, just ignore that. Uh, so uh, if I go ahead and do this now, uh, as you can see, it says 1,200 megawatts right here. And that is how much that this is actually producing. So yeah, uh, this thing does produce 1,200 megawatts. It will be fully self-sustaining, of course. Uh, as long as you know the miner stays on so yeah, uh, that's gonna be it for this video guys uh, If you did find this helpful make sure to leave a like maybe subscribe Trying to get to I don't know like 500 subscribers maybe on this channel I might upload some more satisfactory content if this video does well, but uh, yeah So that's gonna really be it for this video. Make sure to leave a like comment subscribe. I will see you guys next time Goodbye